Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? Hope you are having a sunny day. Ready for some new drama from Ask a Lawyer? Let's go to the first one, about Opie's husband, who wants a break in their marriage so he can have an affair with other women. Well, Opie found out and divorced him. But now his affair partner contacted OP and is asking for a favor. Listen to the story, guys, to find out about the favor, and of course, to hear my insights. Enjoy the stories, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. My husband and I had some marital issues after the birth of our second baby. There was no lack of love or affection. At least that's what he told me. We still loved each other, and we were basically in a rough place. My husband met his now girlfriend at work, and I guess he developed some form of feelings for her, and her for him. He came to me one day and said that he loved me so much, but that he wanted a break for a few months because we needed to work out our issues separately. I was heartbroken, but I agreed, thinking we were going to work on our marriage. Not a week later, I heard he was sleeping with another woman. I filed for divorce and haven't seen him since. This was all three years ago. Our divorce was finalized two years ago. He has tried throughout the years to get in contact with me, but I refuse to even open his emails because I miss him and I know what he would be saying. Empty stories and apologies. For me, he cheated, even if not everyone agrees, because we were on a break. His girlfriend contacted me now asking me to forgive him because according to her, he is refusing to make their relationship official. According to her, they love each other, but he is refusing to propose or start a family with her because he feels guilty for what he's done to me. He tells her they didn't deserve happiness, and she thinks it's all my fault. I just wrote, please don't contact me again, and blocked her on Facebook. She used an alternative account and wrote that I'm bitter and vindictive. Am I the a-hole for refusing to help my ex's mistress playing family with him? How is that even on me? OP is definitely not in the wrong here. Even though they were on a break, they were still married, so it is cheating. He wanted a break so he could sleep with her without feeling guilty. He thought OP would take him back after he had a little fun, and he ended up being wrong. Also, I think OP's ex-husband has zero interest in marrying this woman and is using this whole forgiveness thing as a way out. I wonder what would happen if OP said, sure, I forgive him. And now let's see if the community agrees with my opinion. Resident Cry 9828 says, I drop them at daycare on Friday every third week, and he has them for a week. Then he drops them the Friday after, and I pick them up. On many occasions, I have help from my family. We have a conversation about the children on text, and I don't answer anything if it's not about the children. He can also communicate with my mom. He's stopped texting about anything else but the children now, for the last year or so. Zesty Close Sky 8765 says, Not the a-hole. I'm very proud of you for divorcing. Too many people will put up with this misery. And sorry. But my opinion is, when you are married and on a break, you are still married. So his cheating isn't okay. You thought you were going to reconcile. There was no conversation about seeing other people. You don't owe him or his girlfriend anything, and the fault is his. He cheated while you were thinking you were working on your marriage. Just ignore these fools. Mary Contrary 26 says, Not the a-hole. One, we were on a break. Doesn't apply to marriage. You're either married or not. He cheated and she was complicit in breaking up your family. She is a person of low moral character, and why would you want her to be the stepmother of your children? Two, if he really wanted to marry her, he would. He doesn't. He is only with her because he lost his family, and he doesn't want to be alone. Which brings us to three. If they marry, it won't last, and it will end up costing him money that should go to your children, not lawyers, not her. So this is not about revenge. It's about protecting your children. I, 25 female, am almost 30 weeks pregnant with a baby boy. My fiancé, 28 male, engaged before the pregnancy, and I didn't plan this to happen so soon. But we both knew we wanted kids, and are beyond stoked, even if we're less prepared than we should be. My dad, 52 male, got remarried to my stepmom, 47 female, 15 years ago. He will never admit it to me or my two other full siblings, but she was the woman he was having an affair with, so there's some obvious lack of trust that will always exist there. The stepmom and I aren't close. I find her very disrespectful, but we play nice for my dad's sake. He is madly in love with her, and I don't completely fault him for the affair because his marriage with my mom was horrible and riddled with aggression from both sides. He is much happier now than he was with my mom, and I respect his right to be happy, even though they kind of ducked up aspects of my childhood. It is what it is. 
But here's the issue. I'm now hearing from my younger sibling, 17 female, that my stepmom has been saying very inappropriate things about my life choices. She has said how irresponsible it is to have children before I am married, how selfish it is for me to bring a kid into the world before completing college and being stable, been on a hiatus due to finances. She even referred to me as a single mom at one point. She seems really concerned about my finances. Fiance and I collectively only make about 40k a year USD, but hasn't offered any assistance. My dad and stepmom are both highly educated and make over 700k a year. Not that I would ever accept their help anyway. Anyway, these comments have been going on behind my back for months, and I'm really hurt that my dad hasn't stood up for me at all. She is saying these things to my little sister, and my dad's two younger kids too. It's just making me look bad and really hurts to hear. So, would I be the a-hole if I told my dad he can't meet my boy until he can make all the cruel judgments stop? My fiancé doesn't want her to meet our son at all, and we agree that's fair, but should I punish my dad too? I'm just super hurt. Also, if anyone asks about the credibility of my younger sibling, I trust her. My stepmom also said these things to me when my older sister got pregnant at the same age as I am now, so there's no doubt that these things aren't true. Oh my god, what a hypocrite. But from the other side, there is the possibility OP's stepmom could have been fed lies about OP's dad's marriage and relationship status. Not all women who enter into a relationship with a married man are aware of their status. So, I think OP should sit down her father and stepmom and have an open conversation with both of them. So, she knows she was really saying those things behind OP's back, and she was aware that she was OP's dad's affair partner. And now let's hear the community's opinion. Acrobatic Plastic 21 says, I find it odd that she feels she has the right to judge anyone's life choices, as she started her relationship as a side piece. Not the a-hole. If she is allowed to talk about you around all other family members without repercussions, she will most certainly say the same things to your child as they grow up. CT Mom 79 says, Not the a-hole, but you should just tell your dad that you are aware of the comments his wife has been making, and you are not prepared to have her meet the baby, but he is more than welcome to visit on his own. Mehid Abel 9 says, Your father cannot control what his wife thinks. I suppose he can try to control what she says, but what's the point? I think the important question here is, does he agree with her? And you are only going to find that out if you ask him. And perhaps when you ask him, tell him that his future relationship with both you and his grandchild is riding on his answer. I didn't know how to title this, but let me give you a backstory. My husband, 37 male, and I, 35 female, raise his 13 female daughter in a nice gated community. We are an outgoing family that likes to do fun things like camping and traveling. My stepdaughter and I have a great relationship. She's like a daughter that I never had. My husband had a previous marriage, but that didn't work out because his ex-wife cheated on him and kicked him and his daughter out, and months after his divorce, that's when I met him and his little daughter. It was a horrible thing what that woman did to them. I never met her, but did see a picture of him and her on their wedding day. The other things he told me was that she kicked him and their daughter out because he wasn't making enough money for their family, and she slept with a guy from a random bar. One day, I was cleaning my husband in my bedroom because we were going camping that day. My husband and our daughter left to get some snacks for the trip. I found my husband's phone on the dresser. I left it where it was because he leaves it home a lot. I heard his phone ring at the last minute, so I ignored it. My husband and I aren't fans of going through each other's phones. His phone went off again, and it irritated me. I know what I said about going through your partner's phone, but I just wanted to know who called. I unlocked his phone, clicked the caller profile, I'm trying my best to give you guys all the details. I see that the unknown number is texting my husband sweet things. And I could see my husband's messages also. Who was this person? My husband never talks to anyone I don't know without telling me. If I told you guys who was in those messages, you wouldn't believe me. There was pictures of my husband's ex-wife. Am I confused? Why is he talking to his ex? I looked at all the messages, even the one when she asked about their daughter. I was surprised that my husband was still talking to his ex. I got to the end of the messages. They've been talking for seven years without my knowledge. Their messages contained flirting. It made me disgusted that he was doing this. And yes, I know what you guys are going to say. She is the biological mother. But I've been raising this girl since she was three. So yes, I am hurt to find out he was talking to his ex behind my back. I feel really dumb that this was going on behind my back. He told me he wouldn't speak to his ex again after what she did, and I believed him. 
I am upset that he didn't tell me about his ongoing relationship with her, and there's nothing wrong with her asking about her child, nothing at all, but I feel betrayed by him. Before my husband and his daughter came back, I left with only my purse. I need to take a break, but it feels like I'm doing something wrong. Am I the a-hole? OP needs to divorce him ASAP, but she needs to explain to her stepdaughter the reasons why she is leaving. Looks like OP was just the naive provider of nanny for his kid, but he's still in love with his ex. What a disgusting human being. OP needs to lawyer up and save all the evidence she has found. And now let's hear the community's opinion. Happy Nose 111 says, Not the a-hole, but please let the daughter know that you are leaving because her father did something unacceptable and that it has nothing to do with her and that you would be open to meeting her independently. If that's the case, you just cannot live with her dad anymore. Lena Magic says, Not the a-hole. OP, I feel for you. You must be devastated. I can't imagine ever trusting your husband again. Protect your money, paperwork, etc. that you will need to start your solo life. If he is capable of this level of betrayal, he is capable of things that may surprise you. Protect your relationship with your daughter. You have rights. She's old enough to know who she wants to spend time with. Don't let your ex use her to keep you in the relationship. Chicharrones Yum says, Not the a-hole. You would only be one to yourself if you stayed with someone who cheated on you. You deserve so much better. Tell his daughter the truth. Tell her that her father cheated on you, and you can no longer stay married to someone who would betray you. Tell her she can contact you whenever she wants, but legally, you have no right to her, so anything that happens would be up to her father. My wife, 65 female, and I, 67 male, have two kids, Sarah, 38 female, and Adam, 35 male, both of whom have spouses whom we love dearly. Sarah got married five years ago. Adam got married four years ago. Sarah and her husband, Joey, 38 male, have been trying for kids since they got married, but got delayed due to unforeseen circumstances, and they are now going through IVF. Adam and his wife, Clarissa, 32 female, put off having kids for a couple of years while Adam was in med school, but then started trying for kids. It's been really hard for Sarah and Joey to have kids, and there have been several complications, but things are now back on track. However, due to the length of time it's taking, Sarah is becoming more and more depressed. We're trying to support her, but there's only so much we can do. The doctors haven't told her she can't have kids, but it's getting less and less likely as she grows older. Adam and Clarissa recently found out they're expecting a child, much to their and our excitement. However, they're hesitating about how to tell Sarah. Adam really looks up to his older sister. They're very close, as my wife and I worked a lot when they were younger, and my kids only had each other for a while. Adam didn't want to cause his sister more emotional distress, but he wanted to tell her before Clarissa became very pregnant. Adam decided to just call Sarah and tell her directly, and from what he told us later, she did not take it well, at all. She wished him a perfunctory congratulations and has been incommunicado since then. We tried to respect her privacy while she processed this, but eventually I had had enough. Adam's upset that his sister isn't happy for him. Clarissa is hurt that her sister-in-law isn't supportive, and my wife misses her daughter. Eventually, I called Sarah, got her voicemail, and left her a very angry message telling her that even if she can't have kids, she should be happy for her brother and that she can at least be an aunt. Sarah sent me one angry text message with a lot of expletives and told me not to contact her again. When I showed this to my wife, she got upset at me and said I should have worded the text nicer. But I said that infertility isn't an excuse for rude behavior. So am I the a-hole for this text and my attitude towards my daughter? Nakolo 9 says, You're the a-hole. What does being angry at her solve in this situation? I can understand talking to her, but you were very much not so empathetic and your execution was terrible. She is probably processing a lot, getting older, being infertile, potentially, and trying to be happy for her brother. I'm sure deep down she is happy for him. She's probably mad at herself for not being as supportive as she wants to be. It isn't something you would really even understand. You have two kids. No calligrapher says, Gee, I don't know why yelling at her didn't work. You're the a-hole. There are kind ways to help, and then there is what you did. You could have said, We understand this is hard for you, but we miss you. Please stop by. And then you could have a kind conversation with her in person about asking if she thinks she can be around the baby and offer any support, including attending therapy with her. You made it worse. Third tries the charm says, You're the a-hole. She did not take it well, at all. She wished him a perfunctory congratulations and has been incommunicado since then. 
She took it just fine. She wished them congratulations and went to process her feelings by herself, without projecting them at her brother. You want something unreasonable from her. She's not obliged to get excited or not be sad. My brother goes through women like I go through socks. I gave him a plus one for my wedding two years ago. He brought his girlfriend of that time. When we were doing the family pictures, he wanted his girlfriend in the pictures. I said we could do some with her and some without. He got mad that I allowed my sister to have her fiance in all the pictures, and my other brother was allowed to have his boyfriend of five years, but that I had the audacity to exclude his girlfriend of the week. My parents said that they didn't want any fighting and to just include her. They were paying for everything, so I said fine. She isn't in all our pictures, just the ones with our family and both families. Now my brother is engaged and we had the family over last weekend. His fiance saw our wedding picture on the wall and got into a fight with my brother. He never told her that he had been in a serious relationship with her nemesis. He tried explaining that they only dated a very short while. She called BS because she was included in the family picture. She asked to see our wedding album. Sure enough, the girl was in multiple pictures with the family and the in-laws. My brother finally calmed her down but has asked me to take down the picture or have his ex removed. I said that it was expensive so he would have to pay for it. He tried complaining to our parents. They said that I was being childish. I reminded them that they were the ones who insisted I give in to him. I said that they were welcome to pay for the editing. They said I was a jerk and that they already paid for the pictures once. Grim Free says, Sounds like you saw something like this coming and suggested not having her in every picture. He insisted. Now he's trying to make it your problem. Too bad for him, not the a-hole. LC78 says, Not the a-hole. You were right. This is their doing and they can pay for it if they want. Had they not pressured you in the first place, he wouldn't be in this situation. Notice, not your situation. This is his issue to deal with. 8 Alien says, Not the a-hole. They already paid for the pictures once. And these are the pictures you got, and they should be happy with.